Today I'm going to be doing a transmission service on a third gen Toyota Prius, which is from 2009 to 2016. Check the video description for all of the details, torque, specs, fluid, everything I'm using. Check the description. It's all linked below. I've got everything I need here with the exception of I might need a couple extra tools to drop down a belly pan. We'll see when I get under there, but um, it's a pretty short list of stuff. I've got a 10 millimeter hex bit. 3-ace drive. I've got a 3-ace extension, which I think I might need, a 3-ace ratchet, and a 3-ace torque wrench. I've also got a small hand pump to refill it with fluid. That's not necessary, but that's the method I prefer. You can also use a tube and some funnels and kind of get something set up to fill it from the top with the, with the tube going down and into the transmission. I think these little pumps are a lot handier and quicker way to go. And then, of course, I've got a gallon of fluid here. The fluid is always a debate between people, so you can absolutely use whatever fluid you are most comfortable with. Toyota WS fluid is the fluid that Toyota specs out for this car. This Max Life ATF from Valvoline says that it is recommended for this application with WS fluid. So I run a lot of this stuff whenever it says that it's appropriate for the application. And in this case it is, so that's what I'm running. But feel free to use whatever fluid you are most comfortable with. The last thing I've got here is the funnel, the drain pan thing. Now you do not have to do this on a lift, of course I am, and I think it is easiest to do on a lift. The important thing is that when you refill it, that you have it level. So if you're not up on a lift, just make sure that you've got the back jacked up also to make sure things are level and you get the right fluid fill level. So let's get this thing up in the air. Okay, so I'm going to drop down just this one panel, which is kind of the oil change access panel, and hopefully that gives us enough room. We might have to drop down a little bit more, but we're going to start by doing that and see where that gets us. These little clips, I've got a special tool for it, but you can just get away with a little screwdriver. You can see here this tool just pops that out, and then the whole clip comes out. But like I said, and this isn't even the same style, looks like that got changed by somebody. I am going to have enough access to do this without dropping the whole tray down, uh, which makes it not as good of a video, but I can sneak in here and kind of show you what's going on. So if we look in here, right there is the drain plug, and right there is the fill plug. So you always want to crack the fill plug loose first just to make sure that you'll be able to refill it. So we're going to do the, the fill plug first, and then we'll do the drain plug, and we happen to have some nice holes down there for the transmission fluid to drain out of. So we'll have to be careful to try not to make a mess, but in this case, I think the quickest, easiest way of doing this is going to be not removing the whole underbelly pan here. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here and crack free the fill plug. Let's get my ratchet in reverse. It usually takes a, a pretty firm twist to break it free, and then you can do it by hand. Now that it's broken free, I'm actually gonna leave it in there we know we're not going to have trouble with it. And I'm going to switch this over to the drain plug. We'll get in there. Also make sure that the bit fits firmly into the drain plug and the fill plug so that you don't strip anything out. Uh, sometimes dirt gets in there and you need to clean these holes out. In this case, they went in good. So now we're going to break free the drain plug. Same deal on that. Pretty firm twist to get it going. And then I can loosen it up by hand. And there it starts to go. I've still got the plug in there. I'm going to slowly let it out. And it is not super, super dirty, but it's a good time to be doing it. I don't know exactly what Toyota recommends, but I would say, depending on driving conditions and a lot of variables, I would say 30 to 60,000 miles. You can adjust it to what fits good with your car and how dirty it looks when you do it. We'll get the plug out of there now. While that's finishing up, I'll also point out that uh, I inspect the crush washers, look for any problem areas if they look good. A lot of times I reuse them. I have not had issues with that. Um, occasionally I've had an issue with one, and occasionally I've had an issue with a new one. So uh, I reuse them if they look good. It's just down to a trickle. So I'm going to put the drain plug back in here it on by hand. The torque spec is 29 foot-pounds. 
which is about 40 newton meters for both the drain and the fill plugs. There we go. Now I can reach up in here and remove the fill plug. I'm going to inspect this crush washer and everything, clean it up. If it looks good, I'll reuse it. All right, I've got the little hand pump inlet in the gallon of fluid, and I'm just going to pump until it starts overfilling or draining out of the fill hole here. It's probably going to be about three and a half to four quarts. We'll just go until it's full. And I am just seeing a couple drops come out. My guess is usually what happens is when I pull the tube out, more comes out because the tube is actually kind of plugging the hole a little bit. But we'll get the tube out of here and we'll see. Oh, that looks like it's just about right. Maybe I'll actually even try and get another pump out of this thing. And there we go. We got just a little bit of flow. That's exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to reach in here and get this fill plug back in. We've got our torque wrench set to 29 foot-pounds for the fill plug. We're going to sneak this in here. All right, we got that tightened down. Okay, we're going to flip this cover back up here. Get the clips back in. And we're ready to drop it down. And there you go, that is all that there is to doing a transmission service on a third gen Toyota Prius. Thanks for watching.